Network 1 has the count up counter, Network 2 has the count up counter coil, and Network 3 has a reset for the counter coil. The counter's name, C100, also acts as a coil and can be evaluated as a contact. This only tells, though, if the counter is in use or not. The counter counts up on a 0 to 1 transition of the CU input. The counter's coil is 0 when the count is 0 and is 1 while the counter is counting. The max count value an S7 counter can reach is 999. Assign a reset bit to reset the counter to zero. The PV or preset value contains a C pound followed by a number between 1 and 999. When the input at S transitions from zero to one, the preset value is placed at the output and the counter counts up from that value. The S and PV inputs are generally not used on a count up counter, but will be shown here for demonstration. The CV output outputs a decimal count value and the CV underscore BCD output outputs a BCD value. There is no output signal at a certain count. Use a comparator such as the greater than or equal to comparator in network 4 for this purpose. Let's monitor the block. Make sure network 1 is highlighted. As the CU input, in this example I1.0, transitions from 0 to 1, the counter begins to count up and the C100 bit goes true. If the S input, I1.1, goes true, the preset value 200 is transferred to the output and the counter begins to count up from there. If the reset input, I1.2, goes true, the counter is reset to zero and the C100 bit goes false. The count up coil C101 in network 2 works in a similar fashion but needs a separate reset such as the one shown in network 3. This concludes the video on S7 count up counters.